This is First Morning Weather. Welcome back on your Monday afternoon. The windy conditions really packing a punch this afternoon, despite being a beautiful day across much of the Twin Tiers, with blue skies and sunny conditions. As you can see from our Watkins Glen Sky Game, the wind's even picking up the waves, crashing it on the docks out there. So I see a little bit of spillage over parts of the pier this afternoon. So just be aware of those windy conditions because not only that you are going to see some debris flying around out there as people are putting out trash cans and whatnot this afternoon. We should start to see those wind gusts really dying down, especially as we get into Monday evening. We're getting upwards of 40 miles per hour wind gusts this afternoon, but they calm down into the 20 mile per hour range zone and eventually down to the teens as we go into the overnight as two systems so we'll be exiting, but the wind's really not helping the temperatures this afternoon. Most of us ranging between the 30s and the 40s this afternoon. 41 in Corning, 34 up in Ithaca. You guys have been slacking a bit. 37 in Ridgebury and 37 as well in Wellsboro, Pennsylvania. And we don't still do have that wind advisory until 8 p.m. Monday night. So not only is it not helping with the temperatures, we're going to see those gusty winds really continuing into that 8 p.m. hour. And again, it's due to both of these systems. So we have high pressure just off to our west, and that's why we see lots of clearing off to our west. And the system off to our north and east, and in between it are what we like to call isobars or equal lines of pressure. So when two systems like this are pretty close together, both of these, well, it's causing a pretty tight pressure gradient in between both systems and what that means is that's what's causing these gusty winds it's kind of tight and compressed that's why we are seeing these gusty winds this afternoon well as the day goes on especially as we get into tuesday morning we still do have a tight pressure gradient but not as tight as we saw it before now these systems are going to begin to separate and high pressure is going to begin to build over our region not only into tuesday but into wednesday as well and that's what's going to keep us on the dry side it's going to keep us on the clear side for most of the next couple of days. We're going to see lots of sunshine. We're going to see some nice southerly winds, bringing some warm air our way. But as we approach Thursday, we're still looking dry, but we will be keeping our eyes on our next system brewing off to the west. That's the potential to bring us some showers later this week. But before all that, we'll see temperatures rising 20 to 25 degrees above average for this time of year, getting into the low and mid 60s through the midweek. So we're staying on that above average trend, but after those numerous systems through the late week and weekend come through, we will see temperatures cooling back down through the 50s. For today, we are starting off at 46. That's your five degree guarantee. So these guys with very windy conditions. We'll be rising into the 60s Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Variable cloud cover, dry conditions are expected, but a weak system will be bringing the chance for some showers on Friday. High temperatures sitting at 60, cooling down to the mid 50s by Saturday. We're looking dry to start the weekend, but for those of you planning anything for St. Patrick's Day, Make sure you have an umbrella included in that as we are tracking showers with temperatures sitting at 53.